While time has marched forward, many items left behind on September 11th, 2001 stay just as they were that Tuesday, now behind glass, playing their role in a now 20 year old promise to never forget. That gym bag belongs to the youngest passenger on flight 93. She was actually on her way back to college that day. Artifacts of the day when 2,977 people died are on wide public display in museums across the country to make the past more tangible in the present. Other iconic items from the last 20 years have a smaller audience and specific purpose. Using the artifacts here at CIA Museum, we can tell the story of our accomplishments, what we've done with our history, and show them the different missions that have happened and help them understand what they can do in the future. The CIA Museum is the rare museum that doesn't open to the public. It's tucked deep inside agency headquarters in Langley, Virginia, down famous corridors most Americans only see in the movies. Unless, like museum director Robert Beyer, you work here. This isn't just history for history's sake. We want our officers to look at these artifacts and then maybe come up with a new idea for a mission that's happening today. The collection goes back to the CIA's pre-World War II intelligence predecessor, the Office of Strategic Services. Up front, the most vivid history. Just two weeks after 9-11, 2001, the CIA sent its first team into Afghanistan to hunt for Osama bin Laden. By late 2010, they'd zeroed in on a compound in Abbottabad in northern Pakistan. The National Geospatial Intelligence Agency built scale models like this one to brief Navy SEALs preparing to carry out the raid and President Obama. It had a terrace, but it also had a six foot wall so no one could see in. Seeing this up close for the president, it helps them understand something more than just a photograph. Also here, one of 13 bricks collected from the compound and the rifle found next to bin Laden when he was killed on May 2nd, 2011. Having that artifact here at headquarters really highlights that hunt for Osama bin Laden and finally finding him and bringing him to justice. Not all of the thousands of items in the museum's collection are as notable as bin Laden's rifle or this helicopter that flew that first post 9-11 CIA team into Afghanistan, which also sits on campus. But they're all displayed here for officers to remember what's come before them and how they might shape what's next. In Langley, Virginia, I'm Karen Kaifa.